Hi students, in this video I am going to talk to again 7th standard students. Here in this video we are going to talk about life cycle of silkworms. Life cycle of silkworm. Okay, in the previous class what we have discussed? We have discussed about weaving process. How different fabrics are made. The weaving centers are there in our country in different areas and the the fabric that made in that place, the fabric name is given based on the place where they are produced or where they are made and that I have taught you in the previous class. In this video, I am going to talk to you about life cycle of silk worm. What? What is the lesson name? Animal fiber. So here what is the subconcept? Life cycle of silk worm. Note it down in your notebook students. See if you take human beings as an example to study the life cycle of human being. Human beings burn and die in the same body shape, but maybe the size of the human body is increased as the time passes, but in the life cycle of silkworm, there are different forms in its life. What are those forms? Let us see. And what is the life cycle of the butterfly or silkworm? Silkworm, you know, that looks like what? Butterfly. Okay. It looks like butterfly, but all butterflies don't give silk. But silk, but silk worm, not worm, silk moth. Silk moth looks like butterfly not worm. Worm looks like worm only. Silk moth looks like butterfly, but all butterflies don't give silk that you remember. Okay. Now let me draw the diagram. See students, it's an adult moth, adult moth or we can call it as imago, you know, it lays eggs It lays eggs around 500 in one go and after laying 500 eggs, around 500, not fixed to 500, around 500 eggs in one go and after it dies, after laying eggs it dies, you know, eggs, okay. Next, the eggs are incubated and a suitable environment is provided to these eggs to get hatched. After the eggs are hatched, after a certain time, you know, so there is, uh, there is some time to uh, get, it takes some time to get hatched and what comes out? After hatching the eggs, what comes out? Worms. What are these? Worms. Look like worms and the worms slowly increase. Worms slowly increase their body size. 
by eating what mulberry leaves right like this yes it's nothing but larva stage you know you can see here from this egg size to worms and again the same worms increase their body size by eating mulberry leaves and here the the stage the size of the body becomes like this this sized uh, worm is called larva and uh, this larva becomes like this this is caterpillar this is nothing but caterpillar you know its body size is increased and caterpillar stage in the caterpillar stage it secretes a saliva and as soon as the saliva comes out from its body that you know becomes very hard and it spins around its body it spins around its body like this okay and it covers whole of its body and looks like this what is this cocoon after covering whole of its body with its saliva saliva it's nothing but it's a composition of protein that protein is nothing but cerisin or fibroin fibroin this type of chemical composition chemical in the sense not uh, an artificial it's natural it's biochemical it's a protein substance as soon as the saliva comes out the composition of saliva is cerisin and fibroin biochemicals and when they come uh, when, when it comes out when it is exposed to air it becomes what hard and it becomes hard and it spins you know the worm spins it hard fiber that looks like what fiber it the worm spins the fiber around the body looks like this and after finally it completes spinning whole of its body to cover then that's called cocoon you know the cocoon what is there inside the cocoon here eh larva is there the larva caterpillar larva and caterpillar or we can call it as same like that larva or caterpillar is there inside it and if you leave that same like that it breaks this larva the larva grows inside it and breaks cocoon and comes out and then there will be a damage of fiber so we if you want to understand the life cycle of silkworm the cocoons are left like this and then the caterpillar or larva inside the cocoon grows adult and
it breaks and comes out like a butterfly and flies away this is cocoon and then the butterfly comes out you know adult moth comes out from the cocoon after few days when it grows adult okay this is the life cycle of what silk worm this is what life cycle of silk worm see here first eggs uh, next eggs get hatch and come worms come out next worms develop into larva and larva develops into caterpillar and then cocoon then adult butterfly see the life process see the life cycle in butterfly or silk worm students here eggs and next level of its life cycle worms and this one there are different forms in its life cycle this kind of life cycle is called metamorphosis i think the word is not given in your textbook you please try to remember meta morphosis metamorphosis it's a process of life cycle with different forms of its life okay different forms in its life you know eggs and worms and caterpillar and cocoon and adult so frog also frog also same like that metamorphosis but here it gives silk but the frog life cycle is different there okay this is how we can understand the life cycle of silk worms yeah students in this video what we have learnt we have learnt about animal fiber that silk and the life cycle of silk worm okay here you can see the different stages in life cycle of silk worm and the silk is made silk is produced you know silk is produced from silk worm like this you know the caterpillar secretes the saliva and spins around its body like this and the life process you know life cycle is called metamorphosis and the fiber you know that consists of cerisin fibrin protein when it is exposed to air that becomes hard and all you know here one more thing that silk silk moth looks like butterfly but all butterflies don't give silk that you remember and you know the life cycle of silk worm the name is given like the silk worm you can understand that okay and in the next video we will speak about facts behind the sericulture in sericulture the people those who are working for sericulture uh, what are the problems they are facing and uh, and all we will discuss in the next class today.